what makes a great university experience? There's a lot of answers to that question. When I first came to Australia as an international student in October 2015, I had no idea what was in store for me, but I knew it was the next chapter of my life. The weather was classically Queensland, beautifully sunny, and a little unbearably hot, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> but we'll move on from that. I arrived to my accommodation with three pieces of luggage. When I left, I had three. When I came, I had three. That is a successful entry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I have a track record of losing everything. So I was feeling so proud of myself. Then I went to class. When I was on campus, I noticed that it was barren and isolating. Students were walking around with their earphones in, and it was hard to talk to them. This was very reflective of the lecture rooms that I had all of my classes in. Gray-walled and boring, and everything became so much dreary, drearier under the previously beautiful sky. Now think about this. How much of your mood is affected by the spaces that surround us? For me, colors like red and yellow and pinks and blues make me feel alive and bright. Colors like gray make me feel sad and faded and frustrated and lonely. It brings my energy down so much. Sometimes it feels like we live in a gray world, surrounded by the same gray walls week after week after week after week. Our life lacks color, especially here, in the lecture walls where we learn the most. My walk from unit to university was the most colorful thing in my entire first year, and that was just the color green. But it filled me with this inexplicable joy to see that. That got me thinking that a lot of spaces that we inhabit are designed for our physical needs. Think about old school, office cubicles. They were designed with one specific purpose, to tunnel vision us into work. And it succeeded for a very long time. Things are getting better. What about intellectual needs? Educational university like UT does a great job of that. My favorite is the P block, um, key, the, the cube at the P block, where this is being live streamed. <laughs> but what about emotional and social needs? Colors, for me, just barely scrape what we can achieve in that space. It does so many wonders for me, but how can we address that need for the community that it belongs to, a community as diverse and vibrant as the crowd that I see before me here today? And you all deserve it so, so much. Activated spaces are meant to pique your interests, make you stick around, and engage you. At university, I feel like this is essential, especially for those new students that come and step onto campus and need to be engaged in order to stay there for longer, stay enrolled until their course finishes, and ultimately become better individuals that engage with their surroundings. This isn't a new concept, though. The University of Melbourne has made engagement one of three core pillars of its institutional strategy, citing that universities have to strive and adapt to serve a far greater role than academics. Who knew, right? So why brighten up spaces? Why not, sorry, why not brighten up spaces in the same learning environment that we can thrive in? The result can be anything from a community-contributed mural to a modernized graffiti art on the side of a building wall. That isn't something I made up. It's happening here at QUT. I just want to bring it into classrooms. What about creating these projects? Why can't we involve the community better? 
Student volunteers on projects like this gain more leadership abilities and greater self, social self-confidence than the average student. The perfect example is me, clearly. <laughs> but when I first began at university, I couldn't speak to two people in a tutorial group, um, let alone 500 in an audience like this. And I am obviously fearless. <sighs> What if we go further with community projects? How amazing would it be if creators and doers came together from different diverse backgrounds? You and I have so much to learn from just each other because we see the world differently. And yet, students spend a vast majority of their time with the same people from the same courses and classes and communities and cultures. What if we made purposeful, collaborative efforts with people that didn't think, work, and hence look like us? That cognitive diversity becomes the bedrock for innovation and a creative disruption that can change everything. Another milestone in engagement. So for the next part of this talk, I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to do that because this is the part of my talk that I care about the most. This is my idea. And giving a talk like this is scary and terrifying, trust me. But what's scarier is thinking that I'm losing authenticity. So the best way I can do that is close my eyes and just imagine what my idea is and spit it out in front of you guys. <laughs> so here we go. What if we created spaces on campus that celebrated our differences? If we can see it, we can be it. I wholly believe that, wholeheartedly believe that. If I wanted to create a colorful, meaningful piece of art then I would do it. I would go all out. I want a diverse group of cross-functional individuals to come together and create a selfless design, a selfless design of an indigenous Australian woman studying chemical engineering, painted with all the splendid colors that you can imagine, scaled up and splattered against the engineering blocks, especially the first-year rooms where they need the conversation starter the most. What kind of art piece could create inspiration like that and defy expectations? So, where do we start? Imagine how far we could go with this. And really, I don't have limitations. Um, so, but that's not reasonable, and understandably so. If you let me paint across this campus, by sunrise, it'll look like a Pollock meets Frankenstein or that art attack episode, but gone really, really bad. So that's where the fun starts for me. But what change can you create around you? What impact can you make in the community that you belong to? And what colors would you use? That's an idea worth spreading. <laughs>